Listen, Miguel, uh, sex is a very powerful thing, and men should respect that. I mean, to rush a girl into a physical relationship, uh, it's always a mistake, and it could have devastating consequences. I mean, just ask Nancy Walters. Yeah. And Grace, I have to talk to you about something. Sure, sweetheart. Um... I'm not quite sure how to talk to you about this, but I've been thinking a lot about relationships and when you know that it's the, you know, the right time for... To make love. Yeah. Well, Charity, you and I have talked about being in love and how it's a commitment and how it's trust. Well, part of that trust is trusting in the boy you love to wait for. And you know what the church teaches us about marriage. Yeah, that it's a sacred covenant and we should wait until we get married to make love. That's right. You just listen to what the church says and you will be just fine, sweetheart. Okay, <laughs> thank you. You always know the perfect thing to say. <laughs> thank you. Poor sweetie. I just wish I had the perfect thing to say to Kay. Where are you? Why'd you keep talking to me when I was downstairs? Why did I do it? Why did I bargain with my soul? I didn't even get what I wanted. I was supposed to get Miguel. Damn it! Heck, you show your face so I can yell at you! I want my soul back, evil witch! Mighty big words for such a little girl. Are you sure you're ready to take me on? <laughs> I know how upset you are, but I really think everything's gonna be okay. I wish I had your confidence, but I saw the look in my son's eyes when he left here. And I saw the look in Teresa's eyes when she went to go after Ethan. You know, I used to think her being in love with Ethan was just, you know, a little girl's dream. But she would grow up and grow out of it. Hmm. Well, I'm afraid she hasn't grown up yet, Whitney. No. I truly believe that she really does love Ethan. Yeah, she does. With all her tender, vulnerable little heart. In a way, you know, I kind of envy her. No, no, don't get me wrong. I know that she's opening herself up for all kinds of pain. But, you know, to love someone so much that you'd go against your entire family, I just don't think I'd ever have that kind of courage. Whitney, I've known you since you were born. And I know that you have courage and a tremendous capacity to love. In fact, I, I think you're experiencing it already. What do you mean? I... I think you're in love with Chad. Chad? <laughs> Mrs. Lopez Fitzgerald. No, no. I'm not. I cannot be in love with Chad. Why not? Is, do you think he's not good enough for you? Of course not. That's not it at all. I think that Chad is. I mean, you know, he's a nice enough guy, you know. I'm just not in love with him. Really? <laughs> Perhaps you don't love him. All I'm saying is that if you do have feelings for Chad, don't try to deny what's in your heart. Because you may be cheating yourself out of something really wonderful. Teresa, I don't deserve to be loved like this. Yes, you do. Ethan, I am just sorry that my loving you has caused you so much... It's the police. Good. We'll settle this once and for all. I knew it. You get your things, we're leaving. Luis, you can't just bust Don't in here like this. Don't push your luck, Crane. Just keep your mouth shut. No one's gonna get hurt. Hear me? 
I'm not coming with you, Louise. The hell you're not. You think I'm going to leave you here alone with its womanizing user? I know what I am doing. No, you don't. That's why I'm here to take you away, okay? Teresa, you don't have to go anywhere you don't want to I'm go. I'm warning you. You stay out of this. Louise, I'm staying with Ethan. I love him. You've been brainwashed. That's ridiculous. Oh, is that so? So when's the wedding? If you propose to my sister, does your family know that you two are getting married? Oh, no, of course not. Right, I that... thought so. Come on. No, Louise. I am staying here. I want to be with Ethan and I won't leave him. Not even for you. Look, you old bag. I just want my soul back. Sorry, that's impossible. We made a deal. But I didn't get what I wanted. I never got a chance to sleep with Miguel. Well, that's not my fault. I transformed you into Charity. I put you into Miguel's bed. But before anything could happen, the real Charity showed up and I changed back into myself. And as if that wasn't bad enough, I had to sit and hide in his closet and watch him make out with her. And is it my fault that you took so long getting down to it? I gave you the opportunity. You gave me your soul. We made a deal. Your soul is mine! <laughs> I want my soul back! You know, Miguel, a lot of times uh, your peers can pressure you into taking your relationship to another level. I mean, you know, even when you're not ready. Yeah, I've been feeling it. Yeah. You know, when I used to go out years ago, I uh, tried to get involved with the girl physically, you know, and it never worked out because we weren't ready to give each other the full commitment. I hear you. Same thing happened to me. And you met Eve and I met Grace and everything changed. You know, I knew it was real love. I knew it was going to last forever. As much as I wanted to make love to her, I was willing to wait until after we were married. And you know what? It was worth it. There's nothing more wonderful knowing that you're special to one another. And exclusive. You do know what I'm talking about, don't you, son? Yes, sir. You're saying that if I ever lay a hand on charity before we're married, you'll kill me. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> All right. He got it. Fire's getting low. I better bring in some more wood. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a hand. You know, I wonder what happened to Hank. He was supposed to refill the wood bin. He's pretty... He's pretty upset about Sheridan. He still feels responsible for Sheridan's death. Heroics. On the boats, now. Please, just let me help Jack, please. I'll go ahead, Doctor. But it's pointless. He's gonna die. Here at sea, you all gonna die. Sure. No one knows she's down there. She's gonna die, too.